Now it's time for your favorite tag team duo, Law and Hell. Welcome back. It's a special occasion here. Uh, this is our season finale. It is our 10th episode. We made it. We made it through a season. Yeah. Well, we got a, a big show, and half, I have a big surprise for you at the end of the show today. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's oh. going to be fun. Sweet. Okay. I'm excited about it. I'm nervous. Yeah, but half. Mm-hmm. Why shouldn't you tell jokes to eggs? Hmm, I don't know. Why shouldn't you tell jokes to eggs? It'll crack them up. <laughs> <laughs> this one will actually relate really good to Blackbeard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, why are pirates called pirates? <laughs> I have no idea about that Blackbeard does. Because they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Blackbeard, hey Blackbeard, what's our word? Spar. From the multi billionaire inventor, just in case, we bring you a new experience of rideshare. No longer will you have to endure having to talk to a stranger or worry about how they drive. Hey, where's the driver? With our new and advanced AI, our driverless cars will take you where you need on the fastest route without any hassle. Hey, I don't think this is the same barrier. We are Drive-By and are here for you. Oh my God, let me in again. Call. It's so scary. One, five, five, five. Eight, five, five. Five, 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 five. Remember, drive by. One, five, five, five. Eight, five, five. Five, 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 five. We are here for you. And welcome back to our show. Um, like I said in the intro, uh, this is our 10th episode in our season finale, season one. Um, it's gone by so quick. It has gone by quick. There's so many good memories, though. Yeah. Yeah, we've been putting this out since February, so we've almost got five months, almost six months in. So, yeah. Yeah. A lot of good times on the show. A lot of good times. Yeah. Some fun people we've met along the way, too. Yeah. And we're going to show some pictures of uh, some of the people that we've met along the way uh, as we're talking. and Some uh, of our adventures. Some well. of our adventures that we're hoping to get put up maybe in the season two. Uh, if everything goes right. Here's hoping. Yep. Season two. Bigger budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting on uh, the budget. The budget, a budget. Any, yeah, any budget. <laughs> oh man! So uh, let's go ahead and start doing some of the slideshow. Okay. Um, we'll put up some pictures here and um, kind of talk about what they were about. Yeah, we could talk about the what they're about uh, and. We could show some of the artwork that uh, we picked up along the way also. Oh, yeah. All right. So, here's the... Uh, the Ninja versus Samurai. Yeah. He was creating a game, right? He created a game. Oh, he created a game. Yeah, and it is the Ninja versus Samurai. I got a con We're going to contact him in order to... Uh, uh, get an interview with him to, so he could tell more about it. So upcoming interview for for season two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And we got a couple of artist friends. Yeah. That, you see uh, us taking our pictures with artists. Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. This guy has some cool stuff. Yep. 
he sold prints, right? And then... And that's a card for him, and... You said she was a writer, She right? is a writer. She wrote this uh, comic series and also did some books. Oh, interesting. Hey, look, if we were real people, this would be our toy store. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were cool. They had some really cool vintage toys. Oh, vintage, like us. And then uh, this guy, he wrote a children's book. Pajama Monster and had a lot of cool stuff. You could see some of his artwork in the background. Oh, that's cute. It kind of reminds me of Mari Syndak's uh, Where the Wild Things Are. Yeah. That's really cool. Whoa, who's these three characters? Um, it looks like the, the lady... The, it's the... Uh, oh, the couple from... Yeah, uh, Paris and uh, Helen from Kung, from Kung Fu Hustle. And I don't know who the guy in the middle is. He just right. happened to get in the picture for some reason. <laughs> hey, and here we are. Isn't this the place where we, we found a lot of our uh, our show members, our cast members? Yes, we're finding <laughs> more future cast members. Future cast members. Uh, he had some awesome deals uh, on uh, action figures and also on comic books. He had some really awesome deals. Sweet. So. Oh, the Skeletor group. Yeah. They're so cute and creepy. And yeah, and holding that, a puppy. Were they going to sacrifice it? or No, no, no. no. They I think they were loving on it or something. Oh, okay. Maybe that's their idol. They had some cool D&D &D figures and stuff. Oh, okay. Dice. And here, here the law is pondering the next show. Yeah. Oh, it's a lineup. <laughs> it is the lineup. This is the lineup of... Uh, Who's who? <laughs> Us on the cruise ship. Do you remember the cruise? Oh, man. Yeah. Very poor, Rudy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there he Speaking is. Speaking of the cruise ship. <laughs> there he is looking for his hat. Yeah. He lost his hat earlier in the cruise, so. <laughs> he doesn't look right without a hat. No. Yeah, he's got some scarring up on his head. <laughs> poor Rudy. Poor Rudy. He's been through so much. Hey, there's that guy from that, that, that picture with the, the Kung Fu Hustle people. Oh, gosh. He keeps showing up. I think he's following you all. Yeah, he might be a stalker. He might be. I think he likes your hair. <laughs> yeah. I've got cool hair. <gasps> Rudy's got his hat back. I, is that, that must have been before he lost it or, or yeah. after he found it. He looks like he's getting ready to be attacked by a TIE Interceptor or is that Darth Maul's? I think it's a TIE Interceptor. That's crazy. He's huge. And oh. he, he looks like he crashed it. <laughs> Your law is at the crash site. <laughs> Way to go, Rudy. <laughs> oh, Rudy had to go find his hat. Yeah. That's where he is underwater swimming around looking for his hat. Uh, or he's looking at some more animals for his wildlife. There's oh. an eel back there. Oh, please don't eat, Rudy. <laughs> oh. That's after I had that taco and it didn't oh. sit right. Oh, it still looks like it didn't sit right. But uh, This is a uh, half going around the world. Oh, yeah, that's Germany, right? Yeah, Germany. He's <sighs> been to... The motherland. All over. Oh, is that Italy? Italy. Dang. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. Oh, here you are at Star Wars. What is... Yeah. Disney. Star Wars. Are you at Disney Hollywood? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, that's what that says. That's like a that's a different version of BB-8. That's pretty cool. Oh, must have been raining that day. Yep. Oh, here's that who's who again lineup. Yeah. Oh, poor Rudy. Watch out, Rudy. Watch where you're swimming. <laughs> He's that clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that oh, girl. Such a good episode. Yeah. That was one of my favorites from Watch Your Man showed Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> All the moves. <laughs> that was an awesome episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, poor Rudy. He's been through a lot in this show. But he's uh, he's held up pretty good. That's what we pay him the big bucks for to be our stunt coordinator and, <laughs> and animal <laughs> handling specialist. Just pay him the big bucks. Oh, no. Rudy found a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is on his scooter. <laughs> running, run away. <laughs> Is he running away or running to? Oh, good point. I like that little yellow basket, though. Mm -hmm. Definitely suits him. Whoa. Law getting in his Bermuda shorts over there trying yep. to look like Rudy. Yep. 
costume contest. Oh. <laughs> At the comic convention. Yeah. <laughs> I was a, and this is one of the comic conventions. That we went yeah. To. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, they were from our last episode. Yeah, that buddy cop movie looked yeah. real good. I wonder if they'll ever have a sequel. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully they will. Hopefully it hits big this summer. Oh, uh, and our favorite pirate, along with our favorite tomato head guy. Oh, no, that's a cool picture. That's one of our uh, artist friends, Jeff Edwards. Yeah. He uh, he does a really cool show. We're going to try and see if we can't get an interview for him on the second season. Yeah. If he's not too busy. And speaking of Jeff, there he is. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Now, wait, wait. The Green Arrow got to meet... The, the creator of Dennis the Menace? Yes, the artist for Dennis the Menace. I'm, I'm guessing one of us was taking the picture, right? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> and a Gamorrean guard? Maybe he was guarding the guy at Dennis the Menace. It's a cool getaway car. Yeah. Ooh, the Arachnite. I guess that's one. Is that kind of like those Amalgam comics? But it's like newer where they just mix stuff up? Yeah, they mix it up for him to go into a different... So is that like Spider-Man and Moon Knight put together? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Hey, we interviewed this guy. No, we didn't. Oh, wait. No. We were... I got the note that we were going to interview this guy. So I actually drew this for him. That turned out really good. Thank you. Thank I, you. I like the Blue Falcon. And, uh... But, wait, it wouldn't end up being Blue Falcon. No, no his it name again? Um, Skyhawk? Skyhawk. Dark. Dark, dark, dark sky, dark. Uh, I don't uh, know. But that guy, Jeff. Hold it, hold it. Let me call Let me go through my notes here. Hmm? Oh, dark Hulk. Dark Hulk. Yeah. He wasn't very interesting. He seemed kind of mad, and like you know, we didn't know anything about him. He got mad and flew off because he could fly. Oh yeah. But he did say something about maybe. Uh, fly me out west sometime oh that's right instead of having to go through the bipolar airlines right right uh this is this is our journey yep here's our journey down the road oh <laughs> you remember this yeah we were coming up on this uh moving van and we were like what we is saw going we thought we saw on? some of our friends hanging out what is going on and we pulled up <laughs> Poor Woody. Buzz. Buzz and Woody. They were making another getaway. <laughs> oh, that sunset though. That's pretty yeah. Cool. The Macho Man. Moon Knight. Oh, now that's a cool service station. Yeah. I wanted to wanted to fly the little plane away, but it, since it was stuck, they wouldn't let me. Now, this is whenever we traveled down to Texas. Oh, man. That was a long way. Now, these backdrops are cool. Didn't they say something about we could use these for the show? Yeah. Oh. We can use them, and uh, it's a couple of cool ones. We was able to get those from uh, C2E2, remember? C2E2, yeah. Up in Chicago. Man, that was, that was a windy city. Uh. Oh, here we are chilling out at the pool. Found some cool artwork. Yep. You know me, being... Being an ex, being an old art teacher, I, I, I always admire the art. Oh, waterfall! Oh, oh there he goes. Three. There he goes, looking, diving for his hat. <laughs> and there's the hat. There's, there's the, the hat. The infamous hat that got lost on the cruise. Poor Rudy, but he finally found yeah, it. He did find it. Look. He looks a little waterlogged. Though. <laughs> I'm guessing you were watching him from afar. Uh, very afar. And when he dried off, he came in and was watching with you? Yeah. And here we are at, uh, where was this? This was Greece? Yeah. Yeah, Greece. They have good lamb. Mm, there's Japan. Man, jump from Greece to Japan. Yeah, the, I love the flower gardens. Yep. Yeah. And then you go, you were with the train in the background that was going around. Yeah, it was a cool way to sightsee. Man, we've seen so much stuff and met so many people. Well, it has been an adventure. So out of all the ten episodes, what was your favorite? 
My what favorite interview. What was your favorite interview? My favorite interview. I think actually my favorite interview was with uh, the the dark hawk. That guy. Yep. Yeah, he was uh, pretty entertaining. We were able to uh, get some good questions True. and answers. We did that uh, uh, first thing that comes to the mind and answer the question uh, and everything. Yeah, the so, lightning round. <laughs> yeah, that was with funny. the uh, uh, the answers. <laughs> I'll be in <with>, Blue Falcon. <laughs> God, yeah, you got him pretty good on that one. Uh, See, I figured you were gonna say that your favorite was the uh, the pi- the space pirates, the one where we interviewed uh, Groot's cousin. Oh yeah, yeah, Grut. Yeah, Grut, and then. Uh, what Ro- Rocky? Rocky. And then uh, Rocky kept saying how you know that, that Grot was saying all of this amazing stuff about you and how you look like you could play the part in the movie. Well, I appreciate you bringing that up also, <laughs> uh, because I think that is a a that was one of, one of the favorites. <laughs> yeah, but I appreciate you bringing it up because. A lot of that was true. I think it really came from the heart. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Rocky was on the race. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to say my favorite, though, was the, the Macho Man, the wrestling match. Oh, yeah. Watching Rudy get his butt whooped was so much fun. Oh, but Rudy was able to get uh, get Macho Man on that one one time. That one time. Yep. Yeah, True. I don't think much of men liked it very much. I know. I think he actually got mad. Yeah. Those two <laughs> haven't really spoken since. Uh-huh. No, and and uh, and Rudy, he's been pulled back a little bit. I think he's still <laughs> recovering from some of that. Yeah. Oh, uh, that and the hat, losing the hat. Yeah. He just he felt so bad about losing. Yeah. Hat. But it's it's been a great it's been a great season. Yeah, it's been a great run. So. Uh, I can't wait till season two. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Now, I know the viewers are going to ask, so when do we think season two, about when? Well, we're looking at August, September, somewhere around there. Oh, so that's not long to wait. That's only like, what, a couple months? Yeah, a couple months. That way we can uh, get things done and uh, vacation times here and you know how it goes and... and Comic book conventions. Comic book conventions and stuff that's coming up, but... uh, so maybe we'll have some more pictures for our first episode back yeah. in August or September. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, well, speaking of vacation time, let's head to this commercial break. Sounds good. Have you had a long way to go and a short time to get there? And you hear this from the back seat. I need to pee, Dad. Or from the passenger seat. Honey, we need to stop for a bathroom break. We have you covered. From the makers of PCAT and PCAT 2, we bring you TCAT. T is for travel. No longer will you need to stop at those truck stops or service stations straight out of the horror movies. Just hook up the TCAT to the kids or the significant other from our travel pack. Our specially patented product is guaranteed to make that trip a lot more pleasurable. And wait, with TCAT, there's no bag needed. It hooks straight to the radiator, so no more worrying about the car overheating. All this for just $99.99. Remember, TCAF. Call 1-555-855-5555. That's 1-555-855-5555. TCAF. I F. I told you earlier I had a big surprise for you. Yeah, I'm still nervous about this. Well, I know that you love 
magicians, oh. illusionist. Oh. So I have actually picked one up to come and do some tricks so and illusions me. for us. Yay, I'm excited. It's a magician. Yep. Uh, let's let's uh, bring out the great um, the great Voudini. 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 Yeah, Ooh. great Voudini. That sounds kind of creepy, but oh, I'm excited. Oh, oh man, that is awesome! He just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, oh wow! Ooh, gonna give me a heart attack. Oh gosh! So, guys, this is the great Voudini. He's gonna do something cool for us, I guess. I'm excited. Can't wait to see what he does. Meow! Yes, I am the great Voudini, <laughs> and I have some surprises for you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get scared a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried, but uh, I wonder what the surprise is. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Uh, show us what you got there, uh, Voudini. Yes, the great Voudini <laughs> is here, and I'm gonna start with the twig over here. <laughs> you, you mean uh, baby group? Yeah. Mm. Abracadabra, boo da boo. It's a do 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 do. Ha! What? Oh. Oh. Whoa! That's what? What happened to Baby Groot? Changed what? him to. A, a, I don't know what that is. What, what is that? It's something from another dimension. <laughs> Great Foodini. Oh, Law? Mm. I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> this is like uh, some weird stuff, man. Yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. Can you can you turn Baby Group back? Maybe. <laughs> the Great Foodini has more tricks and illusions for you. <laughs> Okay. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, show us a, your final trick that you said that you wanted to do. Yes, I have a special trick for you. <laughs> the great Houdini is going to show you how I take over the show. <laughs> take over the what? show? What? Abra Men in the morning. <laughs> Bob. Boop. Whoop. <laughs> the great Foodini has done it. <laughs> I own this show now. <laughs> Low and half. I am the jar. <laughs> With Rudy and his little wow. Why? <laughs> the great food Amy will rename this show to be the great food Amy show <laughs> my desk <laughs> hey Timmy Tommy play us out <laughs> next will there be a season two will law and half get out of the jar or have they been canned find out next season I pity the fool that don't come back for season two.